Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Amore Fabrics. I welcome you guys a new daily deal. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Selena. Down below is all my social media links for you to follow me. Um, I think I'm down there, I think the links, if you, there's a drop down menu down below. Should have Instagram. <clears throat> you know, I should have Pinterest. I haven't done that in years, and I should, because I post a lot of things on Pinterest. Anything that's new in shop, I post it on there. Same thing in Facebook and Instagram. So this daily deal, <clears throat> if you follow me on social media, it, you get first pick. Usually YouTube is the last place I show a daily deal. And I give by doing it, it gives me a chance that my uh, customers and followers were able to get first pick before the kit releases. So when you see this kit like now on YouTube, um, I did announce this, <clears throat> I think, um, within the past week. And so there may be some left in the shop. Last time I checked this morning, I think there were eight left. Um, if you get this kit, um, they, they usually sell out fast. So now that at least I have a handful left for you guys, I'm not able to make any more of these. This daily deal kit is $32. Usually my kits are $34 or more, um, but I'm running a shop sale right now. So I'm going to dive right in. My main goal for this kit was to make sure I provide you guys not only an ephemera pack, but um, gift with purchase, which is the scissors, embroidery scissors, um, was that my favorite kind of fabrics. Um, now, you guys, if those who follow me on um, social media know that I'll be introducing silks into the shop. I mean, literally 100% raw silk. It is real silk. It's <clears throat> not satin. It's not chiffon. It's actual silk. Um, so this kit is actually introducing one of the first items of silks that I'm putting in the shop. Now, if you run in the shop, there's no silks there yet. Um, they're going to be doing this week. I've been taking my good time on it, as you guys noticed. I want to make sure that I'm introducing it right, wording it right, doing the best photos, and providing what you see is what you get. Just like this kit. This kit, what you see exactly here is exactly what you're getting. So this kit, back to the kit, what I was trying to say was that I want to provide silk. I wanted to provide... Um, Asari fabrics. I wanted to provide vintage lace, um, chenille, of course, satin. And then the best part of it all, this piece here, is a handmade piece um, that are just gorgeous. I can't imagine someone stitching or crocheting, sorry, all these different, this into what it is. I'll show you that here in a minute. This kit will provide one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these fabrics. Um, they're all 10 and a half by 14 and a half. One of my main goals for those who are the journalers who follow me in the shop is that you had big enough sizes to create multiple books um, and or use pieces for your books. Obviously, this piece would be an amazing topper for a book. Um, I wanted to provide it a handful of appliques, which every kit will get this. Look at this. Look how gorgeous that is. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but between the rhinestones, like the amber rhinestones to the pearls, they're gorgeous. Look at that on that white. It's just cute. And then around it, I put at least a half an inch, I don't know if you can see it, of the chiffon, or sorry, tooling. It's more like a tooling to where if you're going to sew with the machine, you can sew around or hand stitch around it to apply it to whatever you're applying it to, um, to give you enough space for that. But every kit, like I said, will get embroidery scissors. The exact ones you see here. Um, three cool buttons. Every kit will get a Mother of Pearl button. This is a shell button. For those who don't know what Mother of Pearl is, each kit will have a Mother of Pearl, a gold button, and an awesome, really cool glass button. I still have it on the button cards. Isn't that cool? This one has like the bluish tint to it. It's a lot of them are rhinestones. So that's really cool. Each kit will have a tassel pack. Um, I think each each strip I have the set I have the satin, the silk, the lace, everything you see here, I did strips of. Um, I think they're like a yard and a half strips. And here's the appliques. Here's one. Look cool. I think it's be cool pockets. Okay, cute. Here's that one. Definitely, I just love the rich golds and creams. I love the it's elegant. I mean, there's so many things you can use it for for weddings. My first thought is wedding. It's just gorgeous. It's just classy. <clears throat> and then this cute little applique. Again, I added like a half an inch to an inch of tooling around. I, sorry, I kept a half an inch to an inch tooling around so in case you want to sew or stitch down. Um, and then it comes with this cool ephemera pack. Now, <coughs> excuse me, it is morning time and I'm still trying to 
clear my throat. What you see is what you're getting kind of in Femur Pack. Kane comes from the same pages and everything. Um, every kit will have this kind of card. Not the same person, but they came with this like bohemian style people and scenes. And the back side looks like that. Um, it just was gorgeous. I just think she just kind of screamed. This is needs to belong there. Each kit will come with a tally card. Um, those who don't know what tally cards, it's a game that you would... Um, tally card. <laughs> I would imagine most people know what a tally card is, but they're all vintage. And um, um, it's just cute. Be a cute tag, cute little tiny mini booklet. I can see a little booklet out of this and you can personalize it in the back or something. But they're all roses and these really cute ballerinas. I wish I had it with me. Either way, really cute. Matches the kit. Each one will come a vintage uh, check. <clears throat> I think these ones here are the 70s. But um, I guess I could quickly go through the papers, but I really am excited about the fabrics. <clears throat> I'll do the fabrics last, I guess. Each kit would come with a vintage first date of issue stamped um, card. It's kind of a thick card stock, but I imagine you can fold it. I don't want to fold it because this is going to be somebody's kit. Um, if someone wants this exact kit, message me first come first serve. Because um, um, it's really cute. I imagine you fold it and it's thick enough to be a book itself. I imagine if you fold this in half, like you got the cover, isn't that cute? Each kit comes with one um, and it was garden um, theme. So it had like animals, garden. So this one's a ladybug, looks like. Um, and that's the back side of it. Each kit came with this really cool, I came across this um, vintage calendar from the 70s that was long like this. Um, and they, um, it came from Australia. I thought it was really cool. Um, cool, right? I mean, I have thrown in there. <laughs> um, uh, pages from China. Um, there should be two in every kit. Two ledger papers. I don't see the other one here. Here, it's coming. Two ledger papers, vintage ledger. Music pages. Looks like then we have ledger blank and ledger with writing on it. Some kits have no writing on some of the ledgers. But I can guarantee each kit will have one plain, at least one written, but some don't have a written ones. So it's kind of a surprise. So game, like vintage game papers, uh, receipt, re blank receipts, all of them are blank. So it's ephemera. So half of the ephemera is small and the other half is full pages. So it's a 30 pack. Show you the different game things. I normally don't do game um, pages in there. I usually do full pages in my kits, but this time I thought I'd mix it up. So you guys had smaller pages. But these, everything you see here is vintage. Nothing new. Paper. There's bridge. Remember bridge? Oh, here's that second page. Now this, these papers here, the pages from China. <clears throat> I just feel like my screen got blurry for a second. Um. I got from Canada, my trip when I was with my daughter. Each kit will have a full page of pressed paper, um, like flowers, it's like paper and flower pressed paper. Two pages of this cute blue, it almost looks like cloud. Uh, and then two pages of vintage onion paper or typewriter paper. I don't know if you guys can see the watermark in it. I kinda, if I get, little, there you go. I know this stuff is expensive. People sell it by the page online. But each kit will get two, which is awesome. Like if you're going to layer <clears throat> and you want to see something behind it. Really cute. Large pages of vintage music. Um, and then, as you can tell, I did really soft colors in this. I really didn't want to add anything bold because this is ivories and creams. So, and then, oh, <clears throat> last page is the manila. And I'll explain why. Let me press pause and find the last kit that's similar to this and show you the journal I started. Obviously, haven't finished. Okay, found it. All right, here's, remember if you guys, I don't know if those who remember the kit I had, you kind of tell it's kind of similar. So I'll explain by this manila envelope. <clears throat> I put this paper down and I'll explain. So the last kit, which I meant to show you guys, I haven't completely finished it. Look how similar, <clears throat> but different. <laughs> so I haven't finished this one. But my last kit had that applique in it. It had this cute little wrap. Well, I had bleached mine because this is what the kit color was. 
and I bleached my cover. It's not finished, so you can see the paper's poking out a little bit. But I haven't finished this yet. But this here, let me get the signature out. <clears throat> this was the cover. And then I stitched it on to that manila envelope. As you can see, my trial and error. <laughs> so that's why I put a manila envelope in there. Because this piece here, I'll show you here in a minute. I layered mine with that doily. And then I backed it with the gold. We had gold fabric in there, like a satin fabric in there. And it made this cute. And this is the inside liner. Here we go. I have it upside down for you guys. That I need to glue. So I need to glue this into here. But this is my inside liner. And I did this really cool because we had lace in that pack. So when that's stitched in, I have two cute pockets. And this was my signature. If you guys remember, I was doing a Christmas theme. Never got to finish it. <clears throat> Anyways, so I will finish it in one video one of these days. So my, my reason for showing you that is because we have a manila envelope in there for you. So in case you guys want to do the exact same thing. And uh, <clears throat> so there you go. So there you go. Let me put this little pin here. There we go. It's going to be cute. I'm going to finish it one day. <laughs> one day. All right. To the fabrics. You guys seen the tassel pack that comes with it. Sorry. Let me close the door. Husband's cooking something. Now, if you're interested, like I said, $32 down below is the link. I think I have like nine left. Grab it while you can. They are ready to go to ship today. So they're already packaged, ready to go. But there's the buttons. You've seen the scissors already. That cute applique. Again, I could totally see doing something pretty. The same thing with this. I'm not sure. This is a more a long journal. This you can cut it down any size you want. But isn't that cute in the center? Or on the edge. I don't know. It's just cute. All right, the fabrics. I have to go to that. This. Look at this piece. Someone had crocheted these tiny, tiny like pieces. They're so gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at large piece. That's ten and a half by fourteen and a half. Obviously, I probably measured a little bit bigger to give you guys room to <clears throat> stitch and sew. Included in the kit, I put a satin piece. It's like a thicker satin piece. I don't know if you can see the design in it. I did that because in case this is the inside liner, you can put that piece on top of that piece. Of course, that manila envelope, you can line the inside it with the manila envelope. <clears throat> put the, obviously, the satin first. Then the manila envelope, and then you can line it with something else. And to give it the thickness that you want. Um, but look at that. Because otherwise it's going to be wompy, right? So the inside liner, I think, maybe like one of these. Oh, my gosh. So I would do the, I mean, you could do it any way you want. That's why I make these kits, because you could create it the way you want it. So you have this. Do the manila envelope. And I imagine that manila envelope would be pretty enough to whatever you do the inside liner to be. Um, you can do it. I don't know. I think the gold. In fact, the gold might even, here, now I'm rambling. Now I'm creating. Here I'm trying to show you a kit, right? Inside liner, it would be cool gold um, behind, I think, that, I don't know, one of these. Either way, look at that beautiful gold silk. You can use that for strips. You can strip it yourself, or you can, it's just elegant silk. That's 100% raw silk, just gorgeous. All right, now I made a mess. <laughs> all right, so you have this piece. They're all, this is 10 and a half by 14 and a half. I put a piece of chenille because chenille would be an awesome, you know, chenille, you get fuzzies like crazy. It'd be a great inside piece as well. Say if you wanted to do that satin, do the manila envelope and do chenille. It'd be thick, but um, you can easily hand stitch that. What's cool about this doily um, cover as well, I don't see much of a fray since I cut it. Even if you hand stitch this, if you don't machine, I think you'd be just fine. All right, so there's your satin her inside there beautiful right it's just gorgeous there's so many ideas I can see two straps I don't know so many ideas I'm kind of curious I love when you guys share photos of what you do create with the kits I love it there's the chenille and then this lace oh my god 10 and a half by 14 and a half this lace is gorgeous um, that'd be a cute liner too that'd be a cute liner on top of the gold look at that isn't that pretty you get that 10 by 14 and a half. 
And then I put two sari fabrics. These are only 10 and a half by 10 and a half. Um, I wish it could have been larger, but I wanted to make sure each kit had the most similar or same as in each kit. And you get two pieces of goldish. And then, ooh, sorry. It's just gorgeous. None of them have beads. So if you're going to sew, I made sure that it's easy to sew with. Um, I know a lot of people, it's hard for them to do projects with beaded types of saris. So these have no beads in them. So this fabric pack itself is almost nearly a pound of fabric. It's just a lot. And then those appliques that you've seen, tassel pack, paper pack, got your scissors. There you have it. I'm so glad that I have some leftover for those who are on YouTube. Again, if you want first pick of anything that I have in the shop when it comes to new um, or like daily deals, again, check the other social media. Um, you'll get first grabs. A lot of times I do a wait list. Like for instance, those who want this kit and they want to be on the list, they will get first pick. They will get first grabs because they want to be on the list. Now, I do find that there's some people who want on the list and don't purchase. I give you guys 24 hours. Once I reach out to you after if you're on the list and I say, hey, it's ready in the shop before I put it on social media, I give you 24 hours. I think that's pretty fair um, because there's times that people don't purchase. And so they have a chance. And then if they lose it, it's totally there. It's up to them. Um, I give you plenty ample time. So I hope you guys absolutely love this kit. I had fun making it. Um, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Um, I'm curious. So, all right, guys, have a blessed week. Silks are coming to the shop within the week, guys. I'm excited. Those who are on social media, if you see in the purple, the purple, I kind of gave you a sneak peek of the purple packs. Oh, my gosh, they're too cute. All right, guys, run on over there. I hope I had created some kind of flow to help you create something beautiful because I know I'm already thinking about mine and what I want to do, so... I'm already looking at this thinking, should I bleach this strap or should I keep it ivory? I don't know. Comment down below what you guys would do. I kind of like the ivory look. <clears throat> I'm excited. So thank you guys. Have a blessed week. Well, weekend. Bye.